Today I am going to show you one of the most versatile systems I have seen in a long time. This can go from urban EDC all the way to wilderness, bushcraft, survival, and camping. Stick around, it's going to be a good video. So not that long ago I did a video on this backpack from 511. This is the Skyweight 36. It's the 36 liter backpack that uh, 511 just came out with. Um, it is a fantastic bag, very feature rich. Go back, check out that video because there's a lot of good information there. And um, my opinion of this backpack is very, very high. And what I love about it is it is um, very lightweight uh, compared to more traditional tactical backpacks. So as a um, a survival bug out bag. It really is perfect. Um, it is low profile in how it looks. Um, it's not overly tactical looking, but also it is durable. Um, the materials, even though they're lighter weight and not the heavy duty Cordura, it's still good quality nylon and it's just a very comfortable pack backpack to wear. Um, I enjoyed using it. I have been using it. Um, it's a fantastic bag and it has some very cool features that a lot of other backpacks don't have but what is really awesome about the skyweight backpack and the skyweight system is that all this stuff that 511 has come out with all integrates and works together to form other bags and um other ways of carrying stuff and that's what we're going to look at today in this video um, so let's jump right into it and i will show you exactly what i'm talking about now here we have um, several pieces from the skyweight collection this is the, the 36 liter pack um, now it comes with a removable belt and this belt is really awesome because um, it is actually molly compatible so you can put pouches on this but what is very interesting about this is that this belt integrates with other bags within the 511 series and i'm not sure if a lot of people know that um, or have seen that or it's being shown but it's something that um, i've been kind of messing with and kind of discovering as i start using this stuff more and more so the first piece we're going to look at is this is the 511 Skyweight sling bag. So it's a very traditional sling pack in that you have a padded single strap that goes over your shoulder and then you have a crossbody strap that's going to help um, secure that and, and um, tighten the load to your body. Okay, nothing unusual about that. Um, of course, it does have really nice quality material. I love that the, the material that they're using on the insides of these straps, it's the same material that's on the backpack. It is um, uh, soft but grippy and there is a, um, a decent amount of foam in there so there is some padding. So you pop that gate, that slides out. What's nice is they've actually put a padded wing um, that goes over this buckle. So this buckle does not dig into your back when you're wearing the, the sling pack. It's, it's, it's a great idea. So this comes off, totally removable. This, also removable. Pops off like that. So now you have this bag. And when I first got this, I wasn't really sure what the purpose of this is. There is a tunnel that is in here, and there's a piece of Velcro that's in the back of this. Well, once I took the belt off my backpack, I realized that the belt can slip into here. And that's what we're going to do. So you need to thread it. And 
And now you have basically a very good size uh, hip pack or lumbar pack. And you can configure it any way you want. So this top portion right here, this is actually a place that you can put uh, water bottles or a tripod or something of that nature, something long. And then the bag itself is pretty standard in the fact that it just has a top opening. And there is two organizational pockets here. And then there's one large pocket right here in the lid that opens all the way up. And there's a smaller pocket down here on this side, right here, in that corner. Also one in that corner. But the volume of this is pretty decent. So you could get a fair amount of gear in here and then carry this as a lumbar pack, just like that. And that's what I mean when I was saying that this system can go from urban to wilderness very easily, very quickly. Um, and what makes this nice is you're able to have several bags that all work together off the same belt system. Um, and you don't have to buy a lot of different stuff from different companies. This all integrates together. Um, of course, we have a little pocket on the front here as well. Water bottle pocket on the bottom. And what's really cool about this is this zips all the way down and around and lays open like this. So if you are using this bag, let's say in a search and rescue mode um, for uh, medical gear, this would be perfect for that. You could load this up with your medical gear and then have this thing open up um, and lay on the ground and then able to access things very quickly. And since the belt has Molly attachment, you're able to add water bottle pouches very easily, whatever ones you want. So 511 also came out with a chest pack. There are two versions. There is a survival, uh, one called the survival, and then this one, I believe this is the other one. And one has Molly on the front. This one has a mesh stretchy pocket, which is perfect for a phone. You have zipper pocket underneath that. This opens up. And you have organizational pouches, elastic bands, a panel that floats in the middle, but that is also, um, there are gussets built into this so the thing doesn't flop open and all the contents fall out. Uh, pockets in the back, so tons of organization in a very small package. But of course, since it's 511, they went one step further and you have a Velcro field back pocket that is perfect for a holstered weapon. And then our elastic bands built in here that are about the size of a magazine, so you can store extra magazines. And then these tabs, what these are for, is you pull those open like that. And then now that becomes a grab tab. So if you want to access your pistol quickly, you can do that. It's kind of a rip open um, feature and there is one on either side, left or right. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, doesn't matter. This pack will work for that. So this is a great way of concealing a pistol on you um, while you're hiking or backpacking. Um, you know, often with larger backpacks, you don't have the ability to carry uh, a pistol on your hip uh, because of the hip belt. That's why chest packs are so popular for that application. And they're great for uh, also keeping all those little items like your compass, notebooks, flashlights, headlamps, pens, pencils, organized in a very easy to reach uh, pouch. And then on the bottom of this, there is webbing loops built in. So you can attach a tourniquet pouch. Uh, you could clip on a knife, kind of whatever you want to do. And then a very nice padded back 
and it's going to keep uh, the contents from not rubbing or you know uh, banging into your chest so that's going to help with that and then once again they have this very unique strap system that unbuckles like that the harness top portion comes off just by threading the strap through. Remove the harness. So once again, there is a tunneled system. And guess what that's for? Well, that's for putting the belt inside of this. And tough to get the Velcro lined up at first, to be honest, so you just have to play with it a little bit. Get it lined up the way you want. There we go. Now you have a smaller fanny pack uh, that has the capability of carrying a firearm. So you can carry this um, you know, this would be fantastic if you're on a mountain bike, um, if you're uh, hiking or walking uh, trails with your family, you don't want to wear the chest pack because that's too obvious. Put this on, put on a water bottle pouch, and you have a great little hiking kit um, that uh, is very nondescript. And then when you're done and you want to go for a longer trek, take the belt off. Add that to your, your 36 liter pack. Put the harness back on this. Now you got a chest pack and a backpack that go together. So I wanted to show what this looks like on with the belt. Now, something to note with this 511 system and this belt. The belt is at its maximum um, width for me. So if you are bigger than me, this is not going to fit you. And I don't know if they make a bigger belt or not. I think there are two different size belts. I'm not sure what size belt this is. I thought it was the large, but it may be a smaller version. I don't know. I need to check that out. Pretty easy to get around to. The, the water bottle pocket's kind of unique in that it has a drawstring closure on top and bottom, so you can go either way. Um, so you close up the bottom of this, and then there is a retention strap that hooks, and that prevents the bottle from going through. And then if I want to, I can use this to go around and hook, and that'll hook the bottle in if, I'm, if I want to secure it. But the, the bungee system that it, that it has is actually pretty secure. Now this is a slim bottle, and it fits in there perfectly. Start getting the bigger stuff, uh, like the 32 ounce Nalgene's, it's probably not going to work as well. But you know, it's it still gives you the ability to carry a water bottle on your sling pack. So that is an overview of the 511 Skyweight system. Now there are other bags and pouches within this collection. Uh, these are the three that I've chosen because I think these three for me, cover a lot of different things. So I can go from uh, a summer overnight trip with this backpack. I can go sightseeing or hiking with the sling pack. I can use the chest pack in conjunction with my backpack to conceal uh, a firearm, or I can add it to the belt and use it as a very lightweight um, fanny pack system. So a lot of versatility. I don't have to have a lot of different bags that don't work together. Um, I have three bags that all run off the same belt platform. And the cool thing is you can buy the belt separately. They actually sell it separately. So if you wanted to get just these two packs and the belt, you could do that or whatever. So they just there's a lot of options. And there are different colors uh, that they come with. Um, I think there's a bl all black. Uh, this is kind of a brownish color. I really like this because it's very muted. Um, it looks great out outdoors. Um, it blends very well. Um, and it doesn't attract a lot of attention. 
I mean, I think the only thing on these bags that really stand out is on the sling pack with the 511 logo. So um, other than that, most people are not going to recognize or understand what these are um, or for what company they're from. So it's not really going to be a lot of red flags. It's a pretty decent gray man approach, especially with this 36 liter pack, which I just love. And then the chest pack, um, you know, in the fanny pack configuration, it's very nondescript. Um, so a lot of options with this stuff. If you like this video, please uh, consider subscribing. Hit that like button. Um, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this stuff. Um, if you're interested or not, there will be links to 511 down below. There'll be links to my Amazon store as well. Um, also check out my Facebook group, really getting huge. And check out preparedwander.com. Lots of extra info on there, articles, photos, videos, and um, Prepared Wanderer swag. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time on the Prepared Wanderer. So there's the ample padding for the lumbar area, the waist belt, nice padding on that, some channels for airflow, but this is what really sets this pack apart from a lot of others, is that you're able to remove the waist belt completely, pull that out, and now you have a completely separate war belt setup that you can use for scouting around.